Payments in trips are based on the same concept as Airbnb and most OTAs today, which is the escrow. When a guest pays, the money doesn't go to the host. So the money is protected by a third party. In our case, this third party is not a company, but it's a software. And this software is the new concept of smart contract. Basically, the money goes, let's say, on the internet. I want to keep this as simple as possible. And no one, no one can move this money except the guest. Or it's a time-based system. So basically what happens? The guest pays the money and knows that the money is not in the host hands. So the guest is not in the host hands. He can feel or she can feel safe. Then the date of the chicken arrives, the host goes, everything is fine, doesn't have to do anything. The money is released to the host. That's when things go well. At the same time, the host knows the guest has paid, so he or she doesn't have to worry about, you know, getting a part of it and asking for the second payment on arrival, etc. So this is very comfortable. What happens if something goes wrong? So the, the, host, the guest comes, complains about something. What happens? Well, the money is blocked and then the panel gets in. So there's a resolution layer, a resolution group of people who would judge about the money. I explained this in a different video, you can check it out. And uh, after a ruling has been made, the money is sent to the host, back to the guest, or depending what happened. So it's very simple, it's just the same concept as any OTA today, except we do not need an OTA for that. We can do it ourselves. And by ourselves, I mean the people who use the platform, the guests, the host, anybody else, software providers, whatever. So your money is safe, your money is stuck on the internet and the internet takes care of that. If something goes wrong, people get in. It's a really powerful concept because we don't need a company behind that. We can manage payments without a company. Mind, I'm talking about cryptocurrency payments here, so we don't even need Visa, we don't need PayPal, we don't need credit cards, we don't need banks. This is really peer-to-peer. -peer. Check out our white paper. It's explained much more in detail. And let us know how we can improve if you have ideas or, or doubts. We can still improve the specifications that we need all the brain power uh, we can get before we go on you know, implementing this for um, mass consumption. Bye.